All right, welcome to this video recording, and we're going to be going over R and integrating it with GitHub. And we're combining the power of those two things, and you will soon see why that is so important. So just an overview of what this video, the questions this video will be answering. What is Git? Why should I use it? And how can I integrate it into R Studio? So hopefully, again, these are some common questions that come across, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to answer those, and you'll feel confident in your ability to integrate RStudio and your projects with Git. So as you can see here, we're going to be answering what is Git. Now, if you don't have an account to GitHub, I would recommend doing that. You don't necessarily need one to use Git, but that is how we're going to let me log out of mine so you can see what it looks like. So they should have come to this page. And this page is where you're going to go here and sign up. And why do we even want to use Git and use GitHub? Well, version control for one. If you make a mistake and you make a big problem, uh, after working on your code for a while, you can simply roll back that code to a previous version that worked better, that worked correctly. Uh, you can back up your code so it's not only stored on your personal machine, um, but it is also stored in a different location. So if anything happens to your personal computer, um, I've had a personal computer crash and I lost some things because I didn't back up. And so don't let that happen to you. Use some type of backup and github I found is a great way to do that and you can also share your code with other people you can share your project and what's going on you can allow other people um, to get access to contribute to it even if you want to do that so I really enjoy using github and using git as a tool now just a little note if you don't already have git installed on your machine I would recommend going to find a tutorial to learn how to install it. I've included a link here, but I'm not going to go over that because that's not what this video is about. This video is about integrating Git with RStudio, and there's tons of videos and tutorials out there about installing Git. So go ahead and find one, pause the video and go ahead and find one of those if you need to go ahead and do that. If not, let's go over the integration process. Hold on just a second. Okay, so the two things that you're going to need open to make this integration happen is uh, your account to GitHub and also RStudio. So we're going to go over here and open up RStudio. So here's our studio with the project that we have going on. Um, and here is my profile to GitHub. If you want to get to this page, it's right here, your profile. You're going to click on repositories. You're going to create new. And you're going to give this repository a name. And all these should be left as the defaults. I mean, you can initialize it if you want. Um, this really isn't important right now for the basics. So go ahead and click Create Repository. So now you should be at this screen where you have this link. And this link is what you're going to need, but we're going to come back to that because we're now we're going to go get our studio set, set up so that you can put in that URL to connect it to this uh, repository. So if we go here, we're going to create a new project, and we're going to click version control. We're going to get git clone a project from a git repository. Now this repository URL, just a few seconds ago I was mentioning that URL. Let's go here and copy it. And you want to make sure that HTTPS is highlighted and not SSH. This is the method that works really well for me is using this. Um, so, I'm just going to copy and paste that in there, and you're going to give your project a name, whatever it might be. 
and you're going to choose where it belongs, where it will live within your local machine. I'm going to click create project. So here we are. We have a new project and you can add a new script. You can save it. Alright, so we have begun our first project in R. And let's actually even add a little variable, just like a tiny bit of code. So as you can see, as opposed to maybe some of the other projects you've worked on in R Studio um, prior to using Git, this tab is now available. And you have these file names that are available and the status is yellow question mark. You know, there's lots of stuff going on here. So if we look here and we highlight all of these, this A means add. You want to add these files to your repository. So you're going to click commit right there. You can just kind of see what you're adding. If you're taking something away, it'll show you that visually as well. And you have to add a commit message, otherwise it won't go through. And it's bad practice not to add a commit message to, to describe what you're changing, what you're committing. So you can just say, this is my first commit. You go ahead on here and click commit. And as you'll see, three files change. There are 18 insertions. Um, and again, what it's talking about is this GitHub repository that you just created over here. You just added these things to this repository. Let's go ahead and close that. And the last step for this is to push. And if you don't push, then those changes won't go through. What it means when it says commit, it means you are preparing those files. You're pretty much just putting them on the ready to be pushed. Uh, so you got to make sure to push, otherwise those, ch those changes won't go through. So now that we've started this project, we can come back over here, and I'm just going to refresh this page. And as you can see, now we have these files that we had over here: the git ignore first script dot r and the r project file, and it matches what we have over here. And again, as as you make any changes. Um, as you save any new changes, new files, whatever it may be, you'll want to come over here and B equals 2. And if you look up at the top left, this is red with a star, meaning there have been changes, but it has not been saved yet. So you want to go ahead and save that. And as you can see here, this change has been made. Our studio found it and is saying, hey, this change is not in your repository. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to click commit, and as you can see, just added it, second commit. So one file change, two insertions. Now this is a pretty good indicator of whether or not you've pushed. It won't show up on your first push, but after you've committed for the second time, it says your branch is ahead of the origin master by one commit. This origin master is this. This is the origin master. As you can see, branch, master. So what you're working with in RStudio is one commit ahead of what is, what is in RStudio, meaning you need to push something to your GitHub repository. So we'll just go ahead and push that, and it should be up, and you can close this. And that's basically how you use R and GitHub, uh, combining those two powerful tools. Now, I want to take a look at this real quick. You may be running into some errors and some common issues that you may run into. One of the first ones is that version control for a project is not set to Git. Now, the way you get around this is that in your project you want to click tools and you want to click project options and you want to go down here to git slash svn this is the version control and you want to make sure this is not selected to none 
otherwise it will change things. You want you have to set it to git so that it knows where it's supposed to be sending um, these changes. So apparently it wants me to restart. I forgot that part about it. So that's one of the issues you may run into. GitHub, here's just another issue. GitHub profile doesn't accept changes because it doesn't recognize the SSH key. Now this won't be a problem if you use the HTTPS link like we talked about earlier. Um, but the way that we can get around that is if you go to tools and global options and instead of the way we went last time, we're going to go to tools, global options, go back down here. And there's really two things we can talk about on this panel. It's, uh, it's in conjunction with this second and third one. Um, first of all, let's let's look at this one, get executable pointing to the wrong location. So this is this right here. Sometimes git won't work if our studio is pointing to git in the wrong place. It can't find it on your machine. So you need to figure out where it is on your machine and browse to that location and tell it to find it. Or you can just copy paste a URL. So one way to do that, this is usually the default usr slash local slash git. Uh, one way to use that, I mean to, to find it, is to type which git. And it'll tell you. And so you can just go in here and copy and paste that into there. And that should fix the problem. And then you should be able to just click apply and you should be okay as long as it's pointing in the right location. So the other one, let's go back to the other one. Uh, the GitHub profile doesn't accept changes because it doesn't recognize the SSH key. So we need to create a key that GitHub recognizes. And so this key right here is that. And so you'd want to click create RSA key and it'll, it'll go through a process and it, it's fairly simple and you'll want to view public key and take that key and copy it and then you'll want to come over to github and you need to add it to here add new ssh key and just copy and paste that into there and you should be okay after that so with that you should be prepared to integrate Git and R Studio and be able to really pull these benefits that I talked about and really experience those benefits. So, good luck.